Tonight, we're taking a look at the latest on the coronavirus outbreak here in Rhode Island. Health officials announcing 24 new deaths of people with coronavirus here in Rhode Island, the highest single day total. The death toll now stands at 320. Another 188 positive cases were also confirmed, bringing the state's total to nearly 9,500. Here's a look at the town by town breakdown of diagnosed cases here in the Ocean State. Providence with more than 3,000, while Pawtucket is at 928. Cranston has 552, while North Providence and Central Falls are both at nearly 500. There are also 330 patients currently in the hospital, 83 of them in the ICU, and 59 currently on a ventilator. In her daily news briefing today, Governor Gina Raimondo announcing a new interstate collaboration for personal protective equipment, or PPE, purchases. Rhode Island now joining Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware to work together together to purchase the highly sought after equipment. The governor also saying she remains hopeful the stay at home order will be lifted next week. For more on that and what health officials are doing to care for COVID-19 patients being discharged from local hospitals, let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni. Anita. Kim, the Department of Health today announcing another nursing home will now accept COVID-19 patients who were discharged from the hospital. This is now the second nursing home in the state with this designation. The first COVID-19 specialty nursing home in Rhode Island was Oak Hill Center in Pawtucket. Health officials announcing a second on Sunday, Oakland Grove Healthcare Center in Woonsocket. That means when someone leaves a hospital and they need to go to a nursing home and if they're COVID positive, then these two nursing homes have specialized resources and abilities to help take care of those folks. To ensure healthcare professionals have enough personal protective equipment, Governor Raimondo revealed a new collaboration with six neighboring states to purchase medical supplies like masks, gowns, and ventilators. The governor says this will help prevent states from bidding against each other and driving up costs. So the thought is that we had a good meeting today and in recent days to try to figure out how we can collaborate, do more bulk purchasing, which will keep the price down. This time next week, the stay at home order is expected to be lifted the same weekend as Mother's Day, but that could still change depending on the numbers. Ramundo telling Rhode Islanders to start making alternative plans for Mother's Day that aren't face to face. It's not going to be an opportunity to get together with a big family gathering as we normally would. On the topic of gatherings, Ramundo addressed the faith community after Bishop Thomas Tobin said he is receiving a growing number of demands to reopen churches. Tobin took to Twitter saying he hopes to reopen by May 31st with restrictions. Governor Raimondo said that's a reasonable goal, but guidelines need to be established, which would include not sharing hymnals. It's going to have to be a lot more cleaning protocols. We're going to have to pay extra special attention to the elderly and the sick. We're going to have to have social distancing. And many people are wondering if they need to wear a face covering when they just go for a walk. Well, the Department of Health said today, if you, nobody is around you, you do not need to wear one, but to bring one just in case you end up near people in public. Live in Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.